What up, what up, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jazz, and welcome back to another Madden 15 update. And today, we have ourselves a nice little update for you guys. Now, the team that you guys are going to about to see, uh, I'm not actually going to get some gameplay until um, the... Well, you're not going to see any gameplay until the... Um, until I finish the current season. So until when I, once I finish the current season, then uh, you guys will be able to get gameplay of the team you're already looking. So we got ourselves a few new players. So let's go on ahead and take a look and see exactly who it is we done got. So, okay. So first and foremost, you noticed that uh, our offensive line is pretty much the same. We have Munoz. We have Upshaw. Bows. We have Webster. We have Long. We have Double Dead. I'm the real dirty dead. We have uh, Deerdorf. We have Shannon, Easter Sharp. We have Blocking Gronkowski, Power Edition. We have Blocking Gates, Power Edition. So I can sub these guys in and get really good blocking when I want to run the ball towards the outside. Um, we got the new boss, Jerry Rice. And this card uh, looks disgusting. I have yet to play a game with him. Only one solo challenge I've done. But uh, the card looks absolutely just flat out disgusting tree just it, it looks it looks amazing when uh you take a look at everything he brings to the table 100 speed 95 awareness 105 catching 97 elusiveness 100 spec catch 102 release 102 route running 105 catching and 103 stickums is absolutely uh, unbelievable so uh we have him at the one we kept uh movers andre johnson at the number two at the number three we have what 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 wait 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 we have in the slot we have uh, Ultimate Legend Steve Largent, then we have uh, Final Edition D. Thomas, and then we have uh, Flashback D-Jax, and then we have Brandon Marshall, who can help us with some blocking and D-Jax just for screens and being able to use his, uh, his speed and elusiveness. So running back, we got rid of Boss Barry. We now have Sweetness, and uh, I can't wait to get some gameplay with this card. Uh, what wowed me about him is the fact that he has incredible 97 strength, which is really going to make him strong, uh, make him fall forward. He has high trucking, really high elusiveness. Uh, from the few games I've played with him, I think I played a few wager matches with him, he always falls forward like 65, 70% of the time. It's crazy on how he'll just get you that extra yard. And if you run the ball as much as I try to, uh, if you run the ball 10 to 15 times, and if you get an extra yard or two, sometimes three, you know, five, six, seven of those times, it could really make a difference in the game. So he's he's been unbelievable so far from the small taste of that sweetness I've been able to use. Backing him up, we got movers, DeMarco Murray, and then we have my goal line option, Jeremy Hill, who I keep there whenever I am, and, you know, within about the five-yard line, I bring in fresh legs, uh, Jeremy Hill. So we still have Bows. Steve Young right here, uh, fullback. We still have Bruce Miller. We have Klutz and Felton just for blocking purposes. And uh, that's the offense. So defense, we got ourselves some new players. We got Bows, uh, Steve Atwater. Backing him up, we got Brandon Browner, who I, I uh, just put in uh, whenever I am in quarters formation. I put him at safety because I get tired of getting beat over the top, and uh, he definitely helps me out preventing that sometimes. Not really all the time, but... You know, having somebody of his height along, like I'll sub out Barry and I'll put in Browner and I'll have Atwater and Browner back there. Or before I had to go and take a Calvin. So I'll have Browner and Calvin back there as my over the top threat or over the top uh, to stop over the top threats because they're so tall. And um, that's what I like to do. So that's why he's uh, he's there. So we have Bose, uh Lawrence Taylor. We got Khalil Mack backing him up. We have Boss Lambert. We have Keekly backing him up. We have Boss Harrison with Brandon Marshall backing him up. Golden tickets, uh, Eric Berry at strong safety. And we have Dick Lane uh, still on the team. Nobody wants to get rid of Dick Lane because I guess you guys love when I get an interception. You know, who doesn't like when Dick Lane is on the field uh, going crazy? So, um, cornerbacks, we have flashback D. Hall at number one. Now, while I still have him one, even though he's very short, he has the highest zone that I can think of. I don't think there's a cornerback with a higher zone. And he does fantastic. I play zone 97% of the time. And most of the time, people don't face catch on the right side. Most of the time. When they do, it's towards the left. And uh, I do have to worry about lob streaks, though, because he's not the tallest guy. And we all know height dominates this year. 
So um, once I see I start getting attacked with Lobstreet, they start picking on D Hall. Then you know that's what we'll do some double teaming with Browner and uh, to make it a little difficult to do that on that side. At least that's the adjustment I try to make. But other than that, any zone I put him in, he plays fantastic. Uh, on the right side, this is the face catching side. Uh, well, it's on the left side of the field, but on the right side of the lineup, uh, we have Golden Ticket Pat Pete. Now I have him over uh, Sherman. Because he has that 101 speed. Sherman is taller. You know, he has two inches on him. But uh, Pat Pete with 102 press, 101 speed, you know, um, just really has the speed to really not get beat over the top. Now, Sherman has amazing speed too with 99 speed. Don't get me wrong. But 101 speed is, I have yet to really just flat out get destroyed over the top with Pat Pete over there. And so far, it's been going, it's been going well for me. So don't. Don't fix what's not broken, right? So Pat Pete on the the side where people majority of the time face catch on, he's been amazing for me. So until he starts failing on that, he's going to stay there. So uh, in our nickel, we have Boss Dion, who's an absolute stud. Um, amazing up and down, you know, attribute-wise. 100 speed, 100 everything pretty much. Amazing card. Uh, number four, we go with Sherman. And then number five, we go with base UL Cromartie. And I have these guys here. So when I go to quarters formation, I have all these five guys here on the field playing whatever format. I mean, whatever type of uh, play I come out in with Atwater and Browner uh, with the safeties over the top. So D line, we have base UL Deacon Jones. I would like to get Boss Deacon. I've yet to play with him. Uh, I want to see how, what he is, like how good he is, because he looks amazing. But I can never find any on the block. Uh, we have Boss and Dominican Sue. We have Dwight Freeney backing him up. And we have Freeney there just for A-gaps with that 92 speed. Or is it 93? How fast is this guy? 93 speed. Uh, we have Movers Wilfork. And then we have Boss J.J. Watt completing our defensive line. So I think our defense is, you know, good. I think after I play a season with this batch, I think I'm going to get newer players. Uh, like, I've had LT for about two seasons. Um, I've had these cornerbacks for a little while. So I think I'm just going to change it up. And, you know, whoever it is you guys want to try and see me play with, I'll try and get those guys for you. Uh, but I, I'm definitely going to switch up some players after this season uh, that I haven't started yet. But, you know, you guys will get gameplay of this soon once I finish uploading the previous season. So, specialist package. We have Hecker. We still have uh, Seabass. And uh, this right doesn't really matter, right? Uh, kickoff starter, you know, got to go with Seabass. Right here we have Devin Hester, who I think is by far the greatest kick returner in the game. Absolutely electrifying. I have taken easily over 10 kicks and punts combined with this guy and i haven't gotten more than like two with anybody else like this card is amazing when it comes to returning kicks and then i have a bunch of fullbacks here just so i can get better blockage when it's on kickoff so uh whenever i catch the ball with hester i have five or well, four guys in front of them that all have close to 90 run blocking or better and i get plenty of that's what definitely helps me be able to run uh so successfully with Hester the blocking is good and then from there it's up to me to make that one or two move and uh, everyone now and then he'll help me out just by randomly breaking a tackle um and punt return same thing I just got my better blocking guys in just to try and give me better uh blocks up the field so that's the end of the update guys I will get you guys gameplay with these newer players that I got um including Walter Payton Jerry Rice uh Atwater uh Harrison Watts uh, I think that's it, right, as far as newer guys. Do I have gameplay with Sue? Uh, not sure. I don't know if the season I'm playing now has Sue. I'm not sure. Maybe it does. I think he does. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get you guys gameplay of this batch of fellas coming up very soon. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Just getting you guys updated on uh, the newer guys that we have. Coins are low because Watt and Rice were both expensive. Um, I have a handful of elites to sell. Nothing expensive, nothing crazy. Uh, after I sell all my elites, I'll probably be at like 800k if I'm lucky. Uh, um, whatever packs come out, you know, we're going to open for you guys. Hopefully we can get lucky. I know the bundles I opened on Saturday were horrendous. I got nothing. I was really, really hoping I could get something valuable, something that can help me get some coins. And I, it was just horrible. It was disgusting. I didn't get anything. Um, hopefully that's not the turn because as you can see we need some coins so I'm gonna try to finish the season before the weekend comes out 
That way, I know it's coming out, and whoever those players are, I'm going to get. And they're obviously going to be replacing somebody, so I know what two players to sell, which should hopefully help me get those guys um, a little bit easier. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. We are going to go on ahead and be signing out, man. Appreciate all the support. As you guys can see, man, we're going to get back to our grind and making videos. Um, you know, just pumping these videos out, man. Now, this is... This is what you guys expect, so we're going to deliver, man. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go on and be signing out. Boop.